you, Chad. I was speaking to the audio guy. He told me that the crowd were as loud as an airplane taking off 108 decibels. So let's do it one last time. It's five phase against Navi. Sport Police, let me fucking hear you. The very first round, the very first blood to be drawn of the Grand Finals. It begins here. Slow and steady out the gates here. Feeling each out. See we're in a... Any aggression to come in from either team. Bit of space taken. Players are gearing up now, Util in hands. There's a lot riding on this pistol. And it's electronic. Down! Down and out! Bit having a go, down as well, out low. It's just him. Space and bomb plant acquired. Face Clan have the advantage. Simple look at the chain. Things! Those bullets are fast! They're furious! And I'm sure Navi will be too. Perfecto though! Not out of it yet. Lots of utility. Time sensitive mission. You must close the gap. Close it fast. Flash through. Back's turn. And only Perfecto. Head in hands. Phase. Find the first round. <laughs> Haven't quite seen an arena this full for Counter Strike in many, many years. I've been meeting fans from around the world, and what was the biggest takeaway for me was just how everyone is on the same page. They know the struggle and the stories of all 10 people that are on the stage today. Yeah, this one right here, it doesn't normally boil down like this. Number one, number two, the two teams that everybody wants to see, the final that we feel we deserve, oh. the final that Counter-Strike deserves. How did you put it? The world number one contender? Taking on the reigning champ. Undisputed world number one contender. Yeah. yeah. Phase number one in the world right now. Oh, man. It looks like we're back. The Sport Palace wills us back into game. Some hefty buys by Phase here. I think they know that the force is going to come out from Na'Vi immediately. Yeah, really prioritizing. Yeah, no SMGs in sight for the attack. Na'Vi. A specialist here in these second rounds. Let's see what they can across the line with a slight purchase. A couple of digs, a couple of HEs in the mix here as well. Rally if you two up banana twist. He's trying to take some space. Looking for a fight will be smoked off to deny. So drawing out the nades. Yeah, not too many more where they came from. They will not be able to keep up the wall as the clock. Plentiful. My God. Defending of the control here, phase across the map, just looking for this space. Very standard stuff on Inferno early. Nobody wanting to be too pacey in a round like this. I don't know what buy they're up against. These slow rounds as well just help you get your head screwed on tight. You had the walkout dopamine flowing through your veins. You've got to keep a steady hand. Process of elimination now for phase. They start their advance. Carrigan always likes to be the leader of the pack in every definition. It's a hard crossfire to break here. Stacks on the other bomb side, but they're coming in. Gruesome twosome, electronic, simple, called upon, and the Deagle strikes. First good night oh. for electronic, simple. An exquisite double, but that'll do nicely. Carrigan, bit of sign of the times, I think, just trigger happy, but that'll do. Easy done right there. Didn't get enough out of the pit player. Simple does his job in the side. All the attention drawn. Two is not enough to stall this one. Out bomb goes down again. And FaZe will be converting 2 0 out the gates.
Those Galils hold fast in that second round. Especially on T-side Inferno. FaZe getting it out of the way. First half of the first map of the series. Yeah, try not to make this one a third map decider if you're Carrigan. I think remove that from the major finals. Let's see if we've got a dud this time round. That's what everybody's looking for. Slow and steady wins the race here on the T side. You don't want to overstep, you don't want to give anything over. Much weaker this time round, Navi. Good trading onto the site here. Navi not worried, not concerned about this one. And could see Twist online early with a couple of kills. The smattering of pistols out again. And can there be a difference maker in the round? Flashes, Molly, Strain on out. Stalling any Navi early peaks. They've to hold them back for now. Robs hasn't seen a single soul in these first two rounds. And that may continue. Navi doing everything they can to puff up their chest. Fame, presence and pressure. You have to take a risk in a round like this from Navi, right? You're down to just the pistols here. You're hoping you've gambled correctly. The question is, do they want to block them or do they want to let them in? Ideally, have the run through the gray screen here if you are Navi. Still 60 seconds. Perfecto, responsible, will get the smoke out. Do they go through? They don't have to. Decisions to be made and a spray does chip away. Just enough for a second wave here, out of face. They're going to test the issue. Ready and waiting. Down goes Simple. And that will be Perfecto added to the list. One remaining close. And he's trying every trick he can. Actually, he connects Smokey, surviving a blade straight to the chest, but walks away from it. That will be the 3-0 conversion, and convincingly so. Yeah, very clean stuff. Hasn't been a moment of worry so far coming out of phase. Great stuff as well for the likes of Brokey and Twist to get on the board early. These two individuals representing their countries. The first from Latvia, Canada. You've got Robs from Estonia as well to represent their country in a major grand final. Norway. Yeah, well, Rain was there before, back with uh, that Boston final, I think, that uh, has haunted them for many years. Oh, that one. It's been so much fun to see the fire lit within rain. Watching from home with your feet up as your team, your captain, lift the trophy this year. Lit a fire inside of him. And I'm sure we can all understand and put ourselves in the shoes of him. Admirable stuff. But it is time, Chad. Are you ready for our first gunny? Yeah, a little bit of a bonus here out of phase. They've got this MAC-10 still in the hands of Brokey. No AWP out for him just yet, but now VR into the full buys. Do they just want to just continue slow and steady as you like, or do they want to try and throw something with a little bit more flavor their way? Defensive smoke drop top banana. That's going to isolate any early information for now. VS Rain up and to that boiler room quite quickly. This is fast for the mid control. Molly over the top. And look how passive Navi. Uh, they're not leering mid, they're not taking any fights, they're giving the room over. Kagan chipped on down. There. Might be a bit of flak damage, but you can see the pressure point that Kagan wants to work on here early. Oh, a little, little bit of damage inflicted. Unconfirmed, but... They have a lot of room, right? Phase it right now, they have all the room that they could hope for, and some more. Just juggling here, Perfecto. On the way back over, bringing a little bit more to the fight on B. A couple of spares. That will work out nicely with the time remaining. Just note Simple's position here. If this is a committal, he can get over and help this two-man hold out very, very quickly. So the response time on this will be fast. Gap in this as well. Phase Clan looking to put Navi back into the dumps. Simple has sight, takes down the leader. Heavy damage, but they are across. 20 seconds running out of players. 
It's up to these three. A twist does deliver. Time. Oh! So much damage. One HP on Simple, but he does foul twists. A nice upgrade. A valuable one. A compulsory one. Rops alongside for the ride. Yet to die. Long range. Frey from Broke. He needs one. Gets it. And on the advance, another from Rops. That one HP twists. Handiwork may very well haunt Simple. And his attempt here in the clutch time, very low. Brokey, six feet lower. Simple, one HP, Rob's yet to die. Who comes down on oh. top? It's Rob's. Robin keeps his cool. We see the four to zero. Navi yet to get off the starting mark. Had that three-man stack over towards B, you saw the XU come in, simple speedway position, he was there in time, they get the opening kill, looks like they were trading quite efficiently onto the site, but it's that star trio. Brokey, Twist and Robs getting the necessary kills on that site, close it down, and the aggression that they were able to continue within those fights, they weren't allowing Na'Vi to set up in that retake, and look at this, a bit of an investment here out of Na'Vi, some interesting purchases, Boomage. CZ, simple, with something a little bit out of the box here. Yeah, and they are going to flirt with something a bit more avant-garde, a little off the beaten path. It's a very powerful position from Simple here. Not necessarily the first clear as you round the corner. The Alligator might munch away at a couple of phase players here when they do try their luck at that mid-control. A pack mentality out of phase here. You can see them grouping together, clearing this out as a unit. They have the utility to do so. Boomish's sixth sense tingles. But who will be made the ghost? Right, it's low. Oh! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Look how low they are. Phases is a ringing. As Boomage swings around, swinging. Still yet to frag. They're in a bit of trouble here. Remember this position. This could be massive oh. right now. The HP of Phase is a huge problem here. They're so weak. And Simple ready to stand tall. Pops the foot of light just for one. Kept honest. Favors phase now heavily. What is Bit supposed to do? A Kevlar vest and a Deagle, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And the same case for Perfecto. Spotted out, nice find, but that looks like a foreboding fifth. Just try not to give over a gun here. Get as many alive as possible right now. Perfecto looking to do a bit more damage. But this is a 5-0 start for FaZe. This is beautiful stuff. You couldn't ask for anything better on the T side of Inferno right now. Yet to see an AWP in play for anyone. Money hasn't been there for Na'Vi just yet. FaZe have had the options to go for it, but just want to keep it rifle heavy. Keep it as a bit of a pack. Is Brokey one that wouldn't shy away? T side AWP, right? This is the thing. On a map like Inferno, if you want to lock down a bit of territory, if you want to try and stop Simple from going for swings and peaks, then yeah, bring it out. But if you're more than happy to operate with these AKs, it's a bit more versatile. So the T-side at AWP, if, if, if Simple has one and he loses it, Brokey might pick it up, right? Sure, That's when sure. we see it come into play here. But just want to note the selfless nature of Carrigan there, right? Him jumping forward, you saw that draw Simple's crosshair wide. If he just jiggle peaked, like most players would, the, the uh, art of the wide swing is dead, right? So uh, Carrigan just jumping wide, drawing that crosshair, Save them a few more bodies. So big stuff from the leader as we get back underway into round number six. Still no AWP out in play for Na'Vi here, but will they try and take some aggressions? Find an opening. Well, speak of the orb, here it is from Brokey. Aggressive maneuver forward will be noted. He's fired off the shot and it echoes across Inferno. Na'Vi all too aware now. You can see this scouting party starting to poke and prod towards the apartment. Simple, the same, throws a couple of mag into it. Now, Rob's put report. on notice there. Chipped on down to 26, so he's going to have to operate a little bit more passive here. Rob shouldn't be a problem for him. But this is just the standard Inferno at the moment. It's about pulling utility, it's about playing the chessboard, taking it slow, the default spreads. You know, I heard from Carrigan's interview about T-side Inferno feeling like one of their best in the pool. Everyone on the same page. I can imagine that's a euphoric feeling. It's game time, folks. 40 seconds phase. 
Flash didn't pull it out of the fray. Not ready. Ray needs it, gets it back. A vital trade. And still pressure on B as well. Na'Vi scratching their heads. Where is this final commitment coming from? Mumich, oh, down and out. Broke his corner through the smoke, and now only one man can save Na'Vi. Put that foul on the board. And playtime cancelled by Brokey. Rain even had the rotate. Yeah, that's the key right there. That Rain killed the trade back. That was the most important kill of the entire round. It meant that FaZe didn't have to rotate back and try and go towards A. They weren't just going to run into B limp. That kill actually opened the round up completely here, and all they had to do was find those kills. You say, oh, that kill from Brokey through the smoke. Miraculous stuff right there. Just being very diligent. Boomage goes down, and that's the round. This is a fantastic start for FaZe. It's not I'm often you see Na'Vi getting blank like this. A 6-0 star. I mean, it would be something rather special if they could continue to build up on this. I mean, six, they'd have bit your hand off. They would. And they've got it in the first six of play. It's very unlikely that Na'Vi stays this quiet, right? If FaZe were able to pants them here and just have, we're talking like a nine, ten round spread on this T side, that would be monumental. It's unlikely to see them push that limit now as Na'Vi saved a couple of guns. The loss bonus is in their favor, but that's where the good news ends, right? Yeah. You mentioned the AWP. It's not possible to get out still. FaZe will be aware of that. They have them right where they want them. They know the players that they're killing. They're aware of the economy. They know the loss bonus, so they can keep running rounds like this. A couple more clean ones. You can see the cash right now for Robson Rain, both over that 10k mark, and a timeout called now. The eye test here, you'd need someone to dig through the stats, but every time it feels like Blade calls a timeout, Na'Vi respond with a round of their own. The coach for Na'Vi is a mastermind, the puppet master, pulling the strings and pulling his players right where they need to be. Let's see if we get that response. Yeah, they say life imitates art, but Master Splinter and Blade definitely have some parallels. Because of this pace that FaZe has been throwing, you might see a pace change out of them or continue if it ain't broke. Don't change it. Navi would just love to find an opening exchange here, a chance where they can find a favored duel. Look how tight FaZe are playing. They're not giving anything over at all. Yeah, Boomich has had very little to play with on his banana adventures. Chipped away at the Canadian twists on the grand final stage. Functioning with about half health. This is the flash. Brokey on his signature weapon and looking to find a way in. They don't come easy. Little glimmer of rain. Information conveyed. On the re-aggress. Just hanging in the balance. And Simple puts himself straight into the line of fire. Bit now called upon, and that's another on the T-side or Brokey hits double digits, and the rest will come. Brokey triple. What are they to do? Save again. This is very miserable right now. And uh, I'm looking at the details of this. How many rounds have they pressured Arch? They're actually trying to target simplest position on the map, and they've done it consistently. Three of these rounds right now where Navi have had guns, they're either dealing with the rotation, right, that weak point because Arch is where you rotate between the bomb sites, or they're seeking him out, trying to bait him into fights. Right. right? That is the perfect example right there. Yeah. FaZe have come in with a game plan of target simple. How many teams pull that off? How many teams are brave enough to pull that off? See here, problems as well. Boomish yet to find a kill. He's not finding any traction in Banana Bit yet to get a kill. Yeah. Electronic with just one. Simple has seven, sure, but it doesn't matter. When he goes down, he's not in the play. He can't rotate around. The Boomish might not get anything here. Rain decapitates. One left for Vecto. He's been spotted. Oh. Dicked up two, and he's going to go on down. Clean sweep. Brokey with the 4K on the AWP. That's going to be feeling absolutely A1 for the Latvian. And and this is how it started, Chad. Yeah, it can't be stressed enough. Look who's the first death. Remember when Rain went long side, they traded off of that? You also had Carrick number four in the first gun round. Wrap Arch side. Yeah. It's all been Arch. This is where the target is right now. And Na'Vi are left scratching their heads. Upgrading some pistols here down in the dumps. Maybe FaZe getting that 10 rounds on this T side is possible. I mean, this is going to be Carrigan hyper-focused, zoned in. 
they found a weakness and you know we're just saying if blade takes a timeout they traditionally convert around still yet to see the awp come out i'm sure that big red button will be hit for navi into the next bit might be the man having to drop that you can see the residual cash he's left over simple obviously gets a couple more liberties to be taken and phase are just sticking to the same script Fade it out see what they're up to take the map control they've got it down to a science now Quasi buy for Navi, not interested in full investment for round eight. And again, Chad, we've seen this before. Significant threatening damage dealt before the final commitment. Well, look where the gap is right now. They can almost waltz on up, just one smoke. Have nothing to worry about as they make their way up that short side. But remember, they have been going long, so maybe they want to test that yet again. Navi seemed to hope so as well. Back. Thinks better of that. Oh, Nate looks good, and that's a shot at a bit. Sits right down, a weapon tantalizingly close, but another body down. Defensive smoke just for survival now, and retrieval. Maybe more to be said about bit hiding in plain sight. Does take another body. Time's a problem here. They have to plant. They are into the site, established, but with a man advantage for Navi. Still seven rounds have passed without. Any Navi resistance? Is this where things change or can phase fight three on four? It's up to Carrigan. Brokey does hit the shot. And Carrigan good for the headshot now. Running out of options. Oh, and that'll oh, do! Oh. That'll do nicely! It's Twist with a two-piece. And we see the score if you've just joined us. Yes. This is reality. Map one of your grand finals here at the PGL Major Antwerp 2022. And Phaser 8 and 0 up. This is the reality we live in. This could be the change right here. We spoke about it. The AWP to come out for simple. Half's already been won. Phase have done more than enough here. Anything else is the cherry on top, but we need some resistance from Navi now. Who else but simple to try and change the dialogue? Another setup shift. Trying every trick in the book just to get off of that goose egg. So they're trying to take a fight here. This is the first time they're actually trying to lock down mid. They know the archer's been that weakness. Flash is a setup. This might be a smoke in the hand of Brokey. Yeah, that's he a can flash one. from this position as well. We've seen IP try something tricky in the book back in the day. Still with vision. Still no bloodshed. It's electronic. He is a big game player. The desk discussed it too, out of electronic. Might need more out of him though. Decisions to be made. And it's a big one out of Robs. Stops electronic from building further. Distinct disadvantage only extended as Bits does strike. It's Brokey up against the odds. One luxury is the bomb, but standing in his way, is the code himself. Using the smoke, that's not gonna stop him. And there you have it, Na'Vi break their silence. And it starts with Electronic. So we have to see a kill out of Boomage here if you want the bad news report that's coming out for Na'Vi. That is the changing of the tide. They do invest into the AWP, they do find traction, but it wasn't really with the AWP. It was with the rifles locking this down top mid. But it was the stance that was different. Right? They weren't giving so much space, they were happy to defend, and they're simple. Finishing the round off here, but FaZe are back into things. A couple more of those necessary for Na'Vi if they want to break this economy right now for FaZe. Yeah, they got plenty of cash to splash. Simple. Cautious. Twist has a little idea as to aggression. Wants to try and punish on a tiny slither of smoke. But now already replaced. Done a lot here, right? They've already been able to draw out smokes. Boomich is going to signal the fact he has this famous over towards B. A clear intent now. Vase looking to show that that single round was just a flash in the pan. And regular scheduled programming ready to return for round 10. Look at where the bomb is, though. 
This is all just smoke and mirrors. No and there's another the smoke yeah, chat. That's another smoke. Out. This is all this is about, just drawing the util out. Simple stuff from FaZe here, spotted electronics or something, the dome of the head. Has to be very careful. Be scooped up now, time 45 seconds on the clock. FaZe will show indications now where they do want to finish this round. What's the closer going to be? Na'Vi flying relatively blind here, no answers top. Banana. Rain just crawls on out. He evades the first spray of Bit and he is ready, but so are Na'Vi. Simple on long, one down, only rocked really, and he's got two. Simple. Cuts them off of the pass, and on the cross, Carrigan joins them. Brokey, dead to rights. Ten seconds, he wants to die and will. A triple out of Simple. They've been focusing on him, still finds himself at the very tippy top. It's quite clear they're still trying to play with that rotation. They throw a, a B fake, right? You can uh, see phase what they're trying to do. They're just trying to keep Na'Vi moving. The B fake right there is to draw Simple or whoever the arch rotator is over towards B. Nobody moves, right? Na'Vi have adjusted. They've said, let's sit back, let's wait. Let's let the fight come to us. We won't create these gaps. Simple shuts them down. So great stuff here as we are getting into the thicker things now. This is the opportunity to break the bank balance. A big round for Na'Vi coming ahead. If they can deny this plan, if they can make sure there's no saves, they'll set themselves up to claw this half back to be respectable. Caught him out. Just caught him out, just walks on up. Robs, how does he find a gap like that? They've been watching mid every other time, and now it's Boobage turn. He needs a kill. And he will find it. Twists. First time we've seen him punished for his adventures early up the banana. You can see there is a hidden smoke to be retrieved. Not sure how much that's going to do. FaZe might get a move on right now. They've got the kill they're looking for. This more pace, intent. There is a lot of pace behind them here. Look at the gap. There's such a massive hole right now. It needs to be filled by Simple. He's going to have to do this alone. Yeah, he's been called upon here. Nice contribution out of Electronic, but FaZe still stubborn. On the way in, a missed shot it goes punished, and it's up to Perfecto. Carrigan refuses to die. A two on two, a battle of wits and fortitude. Blind, time starts to tick. Favor of phase, Rob's responsible. Two orbs, Chad, what are they up to? They can't miss these shots and he has, Rob's doesn't. Just the one and that'll do. Rob's and Carrigan, five kills between the two of them. Nine T rounds here on Inferno. Kind of wonder that opening kill from Rops. It, it didn't even feel real that it was happening because he was just walking out Boiler alone. You can see some risks being taken now. That opening kill is what threw this round into a bit of a tailspin. It created the gap on A, then the fight went down towards B. That's a massive response right there from FaZe. I still can't believe that Rops just walked out mid and took that fight. That is wild, but simple. Just to try and level the field here, looking for an opener immediately. He's going to be sent packing by a flash in space. Liberty's now FaZe. They're trying to take a lot more room. They know. Turn the heat up on Na'Vi now. Yeah, they've found their mojo. Na'Vi still chasing it. And there's been a dynamic feel to this phase clan. It, it means that Na'Vi can never be caught sleeping on any of these choke points. You just have to love what they're throwing their way. You just never know what you're going to get next. Yeah, the spanner in the works with these dry walkouts. We saw Rain try it earlier. Rob's got away with it. And with these walkouts, it's just going to keep Na'Vi in a position where they can't gamble, they can't hedge. They have to lock down these positions. They have to keep eyes on. Util, that must force Electronic out. He's blind, burning, simple the same. Look at the damage. And he's gone. Hungry for the repeat. And it is a deadly sin. Greed gets simple. Bit. Got a lot to do with a very less than ideal buy. Still brings Carrigan low. But Pokey so far forward, a bit stubborn on the defense. What is that from Carrigan? Tracers reveal him. They're so close to one another. This is all hanging by a thread, and it's electronic. Sets Navi up for collection. Can they really find a way in? Is there anything to be said for FaZe Clan? 10 seconds is all they have to work with. And there's a setup. One and done. Brokey can't get to the bomb. And Na'Vi make it three.
Well handled now, but the best they can get is six here. Look, and I said the best they can get is six. We know that Na'Vi can have a vicious T side too. But we're just seeing them work into things. Bit of an odd one there from Simple, right? Caught off by that Molly. You can see this here. He doubted the spread. He doubted the spread. Runs across, peeks back, licks him in the final moments there and gives the opener to Rain, but not enough for FaZe to get on the board. And look what has happened now to FaZe. These close rounds, the nature in which they have unfolded, left them in a bit of a financial situation right now. They're going to have to sit back, hold on to their pennies. The opportunity now for Na'Vi to build back. Pressure is felt by everyone, Chad. It's just a matter of how they react to it. Conversation now for FaZe is about not losing the momentum going into the second half. You want to try and keep this tip for tat. You don't just want to lose the last three, four rounds consecutively here. You want to make sure that you're competitive, you're keeping the fight up, they're close. Yeah, I mean, best case, we get to see a bomb plan and a couple of kills, but I don't know who to look and call upon for that. Yeah, and it's just the same from FaZe here. This is what we saw from Heroic versus Navi just the other day. Stalled out, very slow Inferno. Ooh, that's a little naughty, but it's more hopeful than anything. And that might take hope away. Ooh. Just making sure any of our newer viewers know what Inferno looks like. The nooks and crannies. They're taking our time exploring the entire map. Not only that, but they're trying to bait out some of the CT util, force them into a rebuy in the next. And that's why it's this very pokey Little play with the pistols, show their face, drop back, and then eventually run into the meat grinder. Simple's gonna get the first here. Perfecto and Boomage over towards B to do some damage. Boomage and Perfecto are gonna lock this one down and through the smoke. Swiss gets one. Not that that'll be it, says Boomage. He's gonna be happy with that. A couple of eco kills to get him up to three in total. Needs to get his confidence going. Boomage has been fantastic for this team once they've made it to the playoffs here. He's been extremely mobile as an in game leader across the map, impact frags. So, want to get him online. Could be looking at something a little bit more pacey here, Alex. Just taking note, taking stock oh, of the purchases geez. that FaZe are starting to uh, equip here. Timeout taken for Na'Vi, the second opportunity. I think Blade knows that if they can get to that six mark, they're still in this map. It is not done just yet. Started bleak, started absolutely miserable for Na'Vi. That pressure point of Arch time and time again. Hemorrhaging rounds, but right now they're back in it. Yeah, Blade somewhat of a savant for Counter-Strike and now probably just making sure with his abacus that everyone is on the same page as to what can be coming their way. It's a bit curious if they're going to be expecting a buy like this. So he's trying to get, yeah, they're trying to get the most out of this before it gets too out of control here. It's curious if they want to use pace behind this. They didn't buy any HEs. Normally, if you had a couple of nades, you'd lob them forward, soften up on the faster pace. It's not so easy to do when you don't have any nades in place. You're going to have to hope for a couple of good flashes here, but a set piece definitely on the line. Check that radar out. Four players for phase, quickly making their way up second mid. This is one of the pocket strats you need if you want to win a major grand final. Four members of phase clan stampede. Simple has to receive double flame. Smoke for more pressure, but cool. That off. That's huge. That is massive from Navi right there. It doesn't seem like a lot, but that is all the investment in utility gone for FaZe immediately. Look that how was many a pocket strat. Yeah, they were hoping to get away with a lot of space. That actually means a lot. Wow. Navi have just stalled them out completely here. They have to come up with something on the fly. Wow, there was five smokes. Bloom in the opening 10 seconds, and there's more replacing that. These flashes here that Brokey are lining up is perfect. Try and get a bit of a waterfall strat coming out, but they will need to get past three. Bit in electronic are hard to break, and simples there as well. Three players, three flashbangs. These are going to have to be absolutely perfect here. If Navi aren't blind, there's no way in for phase. They're just going to get shut out of this. Yeah, but Rain is going to be the one to come in last, looking to clean up the mess. And here comes the commit. Lots of flashes. Rain has opened the account for phase. Simple one back. Hard shot. The Rain shuts down Simple long range. Phase. With a cobble together by Mac 10s, a single rifle, pistols break into the A site, and Boomich and Perfecto just have to sit back. I can't speak to how ridiculous that is. Navi negated the initial onslaught. That they, they had a strike that they wanted to run from spawn. You don't see that too often. We've been seeing default sped, spreads throughout. That right there was a, a strat straight from spawn. You can see the nature behind it. The smoke's already in the air. 
Molotovs, multiple Molotovs from Na'Vi come out top mid and you think that's done. That's, that's, that's completely over right here. But Brokey, we saw him in that position before and you saw how good those flashes are. They're meant to waterfall over as your players are jumping out apartments. If that pit player wants to fight, he's going to get white. And that's exactly what happened. Bomb goes off again and face. What a half this has been. So for the first rounds, we witnessed Simple being the target. Those flashes have Electronic's name written all over them. Yeah, that was beautiful stuff right there. The fact that they were able to pull Sonic out of their back pocket after the initial strategy didn't work. I'm loving this. You can see the flashes Bang. here perfectly highlighted. Bang. They continue to come on over. A couple of them, you can see in the feed, Brokey getting flash assist there. And that's exactly what you want from a strat like that. That is the pressure now turned up on Na'Vi. Saved Gun Shaw. A couple of line pies around this here. I said 9-6 would be all right. 11-4 sounds absolutely miserable here for Na'Vi. Yeah. It's looking ludicrous. Boomage though, this is what he does best! A double out of boom! Bit and boom! Bang! And the final round of this first half, they do get the opportunity to at least remedy this defense. Hall. Five does seem like it is a must. Carrigan just forced to sit back and watch as his three remaining compatriots look to bring something out of this round. Narvi seem to have a good idea as to where they're coming from. It was rain before, can he possibly find a way in again? Heard now. Couple of missed shots, it's still simple. Only one out of rain, and Na'Vi hold on to the reins. It's Brokey tagged up, and body bagged as well. Five to ten. All right, recovery here. Of the last seven rounds of play, Na'Vi were able to pick up five. So when you look at it that way, a bit of momentum in their favor, but it's had to be extremely hard rounds that they're converting here. Not being easy whatsoever. Great half out of Brokey, 16 kills to his name, leading the charge, even though that arch side was targeted time and time again. Simple, of course, 14 to his name. And finally, a bit more proactive play out of Na'Vi there, right? Boomich actually barreling down Banana. Before that, it was very passive. They were just waiting for FaZe, hoping that they would come with the quickness. This will be some comeback for Na'Vi here. We know that, Na uh, that uh, Inferno can be a bit of a weakness. So the teams do like to target from time to time. Yeah, and FaZe have demonstrated that they're coming in possessed 8-0 for a start a 10-5 half it certainly can be classified as a recovery and this is a big one equipping superstar with the advanced pistol for these long-range jewels the usp favored in most of those with the gap closing quick Anticipation grows the Sport Palace, no, just as well as we do. This pistol has a lot riding on it for Na'Vi. Map one of our grand finals. Some intentional steps right there, just giving away a sound cue or two, letting them know. Flash on over, information oh. for Rain, and what a shot. Boomage, he's down and more for Anyone Rain. Anyone else? Anyone else want to challenge out Rain? Robs, he's got a back turn, it's hard to hit, and Electronic slaps him down. Pressure mounting as they look to bounce and bound into the A site. They can still cut off the bomb here. Carrigan might have the right maneuver about this. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. And Simple doesn't even click as he's silenced by Rain. Back and forth we go. They're tossling for control, wrestling in a three on three. 40 seconds, T side. They catch the bomb in the open, courtesy of Rain. His heart beating as he's taken three out of the equation and he's not done yet. Oh, Whoa. what a shot out of it. But Rain still presides over that bomb. Trying every trick to recover. It has to be Rain. Looking for it. Oh! oh! The ace. The ace. You dealt it him. And he continues to prove us wrong. Steps up. When Carrigan and Baze need him the most. Na'Vi head in hand. In the first round of play in the second half. Look at this. All five for Harvard Nygaard. It had to be him. No one else was hitting the shots. That's absurd right there. The fact it comes down to a one on two and Rain's already done all the hard work just to get them to that point. Massive stuff.
If Navi thought they had any hope in that pistol, Rain has just ruined their day. Simple. He's looking to put on a clinic. Looking to break the rules. He's trying to take this on himself, right? With a purchase like this, he has to find something. He can't go down without a fight. Light investment, sure. I'm really feeling the pressure here, Navi. This type of a buy feels a off script. They're putting all their eggs into this basket. He's going to have a limper purchase going forward in the rounds. Smoked yeah. off, denied. Perfect stuff. You don't want to task with that one. Another smoke top mid continuing to block, and Vic won't be wanting to walk through that gray screen. Harvey looking a little stuck here. Electronic respect the utility. And Carrigan maintains the futility of this round. They will fall one by one. Jumped on, and that's a lot of cash injected into the base plan bank account. 600 bucks per frag on the SMG. The unarmored Na'Vi, no match. Na'Vi are out of sorts right now. That purchase from Simple there, the question is, will he get donated an AK? It's most likely that someone will drop him an AK and he'll give on over a... Oh, okay, maybe not. Going to see something a little different coming out here. But FaZe are handling this. The game plan so far has been perfect. Even in situations like that, knowing to take the space late, not early, denying those pistols the chance to take the room for free. But right here, deep mid smokes, nades come on through. No real damage to find here, just to be chipped away. Electronic looking for some space, barreling up behind Whoa. the util. Taking a lot of liberties and a lot of room here. Yeah, that's a lot of space quick. You can see Brokey is going to be the third bannerman to arrive upon the site. Retake smoke, util to rain in. The flames will force you back or forward. Make a choice. Centering to spread it's immediate smoke in response they will stand in this constantly contested piece of territory and it seems face clan feel they've done enough they have rain ready to preside Opportunity. Ooh, lots of damage. Carrigan, though, he's got his MP9, and it may be all he needs. Ducks, dodges, dips back. It's boom. A necessary frag. Rotates are going to be hard here. And already, it's been and cuts one down. Robs maintains presence on Banana. Brokey encroaching now. Opportunity still ripe for a phase 13. I don't see a kit. They're running out of time. They are running out of time, and especially now, Perfecto. Robs' his ambitions change now. He's not looking for the round. He wants Na'Vi to go down with the ship. He knows things are tight, Chad. Smart play from Robs here. There's no way out. If they're going to try and run out, they're going to have to run past him here. He can get both of these kills with these. But the round is Na'Vi's. Robs gets the reaction from the crowd, but Na'Vi get the six knocks onto the scoreboard Ooh. there. Still a six-round difference. And you're exactly right, knowing the financial damage that's going to come through with a round like that. Still an opportunity here for FaZe to finish this quickly, right? Now they're not in a good place. The fact that they were able to trade out onto that site quite efficiently, they thought that Carrigan did a lot there. It was the kill from Bit down Banana that was key. Stalled it out the low HP. Perfecto with a couple of big frags to his name. Both teams still able to get to a buy because it was a bonus from FaZe. They had a lot of SMGs. Now they're into a lot more rifles here. Let's see if the script is going to be flipped. This battle of utility, so many nades leaving hands, and it's aggression! Oh, what a shot! Rain catches Electronic just as he leaps over the half wall. A quick reaction. The Na'Vi Jans begin again as fans start to believe. Not going to be easy. In somewhat of a hole, RNRV. You see how worried they are here. They didn't have full map control, so the fact that Simple is being that diligent. They're unaware of what phase are currently set up with. It's a 2 2 spread. Util's light here for NRV. Oh, it's not as well placed. Just gets away from it, relatively unscathed. Lack of information for phase here. They are in the dark. No information top mid, no information banana at all. This is going to be a real tight one for these two. 
And four on four, it's easy to find that number advantage in your commitment as that T side. Brokey's been great. 18 kills. He needs a couple more here if they want to test his side of the map. 18, top of the server. Anavi have to get into this bomb side. What a shot out of bit. That's Galil. It's all on Robs. Yeah, he's got to activate. He's tucking in. Freebie. And that's a free one. Needs more. They are entering the site. A well placed nade doesn't quite catch Perfecto. And another successful take of the site. Three on three. Wounded a phase. How are you supposed to crack back into the site? Crossfires have been established. Bit to peek off of contact, but it may not be necessary. Simple. Finds Carrigan on the crawl through. And some of the sharpest tools now on the way back in. It's going to be hectic. He knows Bit's graveyard, but running out of time. There's one, and it's perfecto. Secures the round for Na'Vi. Really well done there. That was the kill onto Brokey, right? Opens up the site, gives them an opportunity to wrap on in. And look, a little bit worrisome there in the final stages, but FaZe, now they have to ask themselves a couple of questions. Pinch and pennies this time, but it's going to be on the other side of the server. On this defense, we saw them have to take an eco late within that first half. They're going to have to do it early within this second. Clawing back into this now, Na'Vi. And they're doing it with a different pace. It's not this slow default spread. They're actually charging up Banana. So when we talk about the game plan of FaZe in the first half, it was Arch side. Clearly, Na'Vi think Banana is somewhere they can pressure early. That's what Rops can do here. He wants to be a crowd favorite, does Rops? Saw plenty of that in the show match, Rops. Yeah, we did. No revolvers here, though. Certainly a few Counter-Strike Cowboys. Ray. Oh, that's juicy. He's caught Electronic. They're saving their pennies and really should have no voice in this round whatsoever. But what is oh, that? Simple catch is one. Garrigan's hit another on the USB. Hey, it has to be Perfecto to pick up the pieces. They got plenty of time. It still has to be a Navi it's round. Fine. Oh, more damage. Palms a little sweaty now as they do want to get that bomb down. Another big one out of Perfecto at this point. And it loses its potency, albeit foreboding, threatening from FaZe. Perfecto has put them down. It doesn't matter how Navi are getting these rounds on the ball, but you're right, Perfecto, that's the name we have to keep on saying here. In a lot of these situations where it's getting tight, his rounds have been key. Right, the kills that he's been able to pick up, he's been bailing them out of dodge here. Perfectly timed by the crowd on that one. Bomb goes off, round on the board for the difference here as Na'Vi starting to mount, mount a bit of a comeback, starting to make this one interesting. Oh, more than interesting, Chad. I think this is where FaZe, they thought they were about to just putt it in. Well, we all know the woes that FaZe have had on this map once upon a time. We're going to go back four long years. The Boston Major. I'd argue I don't think it feels like uh, long years for Carrigan. Just seeing him compose himself on the stage. Rain was alongside for that as well. so so close to that trophy yet to get a gun round here on this ct side oh, Base oh, support oh. back in a bit lighter on you two rain chipped away out early Harvey definitely want to take the fights much earlier than phase did and i feel quite right to be saying exactly that three rounds in consecutive fashion out of phase uh, Na'Vi. can they build further into it it's phase that look to adjust so they're lacking utility here right so they are going to have to take a couple of these glances with their bodies, put their bodies on the line, not just be able to defend with utility alone. They softened up this B site early. It is very susceptible right now to a full execute. The way that they're postured here tells me... What? What is okay. that? Okay. Yeah, I was about to say that it might have to be a bit of a save if they walk into this B site. Now that they've gotten that freebie, maybe it'll have to be exactly that. Oh, no. A horrible death to stomach for Carrigan. Just a reaction speed test out of Boomage. And there's more to come, way more to come. It's defensive smoke there towards that short side, trying to corral them here over into Twist Domain. Yeah, it's a potent pairing. Good nade, and Twist actually charging in. He wants four, and he'll take them both! 
my god! Simple does manage to keep control only for a moment. And back and forth, trading blows, both wounded and low. And 20 seconds, Navi need to get into that site. Rain knows it, as does Brokey. It's the bomb on the back of Perfecto. Can he get into the site? The answer is given. No, from Brokey. Bit. Time. Oh my god, it's a dual plan. Makes an executive decision just in time. He will get it down. Can't the young can't stand tall on the biggest of stages he can? Oh yes he can! Nine for Navi! A triple get out of bit, but the last one needs the most. As FaZe Clan sent back to the doldrums of economic despair. Show us this one again. Look at the time on the clock. As Mid walks out, he gets that open, and that's the bomb drop. Nine seconds, gets the kill, picks it up at eight seconds, starts planting. Broke, he's pivoted too far back. The bomb goes down, and problems for FaZe now. 19 years of age. How many 19-year-olds are in this stadium today? And one of them does that for Na'Vi. Real problems for FaZe now. This comeback is on. Oh, yes, like Donkey Kong! Bye-bye! Garrigan and Rain! Sent back to spawn. A well-placed nade chips away. Unconfirmed, electronic and simple. Lightly tickled, but it's no laughing matter for FaZe Clan. I might discuss what the game plan for FaZe can be going forward here. We had the same conversation with Na'Vi in the first half. They were getting blanked. Remember that 8-0 start? It was fantastic from FaZe. Their T side was looking well-oiled, well-drilled. Now, the same thing for Na'Vi. It hasn't been as clean. In a couple of closer rounds, they've needed the individuals to battle them out. But remember, it was the AWP when it came out for Simple is when Na'Vi eventually started getting rounds on the board. And now, it wasn't necessarily through his kills early, but it was through the way that they approached the rounds. They're a bit more forward. They're ready to fight. And now the Brokey has kept himself a bit more residual cash here. We should see the same adjustment being made from FaZe. You know, there's so many candidates that we discussed for Na'Vi. It looked like simple. I mean, amazing that he managed to go from 13th or something rated in the tournament to number one, now rivaling that of Bit, who's been in incredible form. Same form by which he dominated in Stockholm. A two-round deficit now, Chad. Phases funds just where they need to be. This is the first time out here at FaZe, right? This is the first time they're going to have a conversation. The Jess talked about it. They don't have a coach behind them, right? They've got a manager there. Unfortunately, Robin can't be here with the team, but Carrigan, he's got a massive brain on those shoulders. He's going to be able to come up with some solution to this. And as forecast, it looks like Broke is going to be bringing out the big green. Close to an idyllic buy for both squads. Our 23rd round of play, now just a two round gap. Electronic looks like he's got some intent. Supported by the framework of utility, he's already up and Carrigan. Last time he tried his luck, boom, knocked him down. Same state of play. Same. They've at least repelled the first test out of Na'Vi here. But look at how Na'Vi are rerouting right now. This is very telling that they want to try something on the other side of the map here. They've been able to pressure phase, force out that utility a lot earlier. They're in the dark. This is fantastic for Na'Vi. That B pressure throughout this half has been phenomenal. And now they can chop and change and now change the tide of the rounds here. Another smoke deployed over towards A. That's going to be the final smoke here. Nothing left for phase to defend with the gray screen. They're going to have to get it done with bullets. They're not short on individual prowess, Chad. Our phase clan. This is on Rob's here. And they are charging into Rob. One. And done, low on electronic, that should be finished by Twist, and he's done it. Brokey alongside for the ride, running out of players. Na'Vi can't get through. It's only Perfecto, baits the shot. Beautiful move, and a great headshot, but down in the flames. Falls to his own. Started to conjure a little something magic there, but 
Fool's foul to his own flame. 13. Summit would be proud. Yeah. Wasn't on that major grand final stage, though. Fantastic stuff for Broke. He brings out the orb. They deal with it. And you can see the change there. A timeout back from Na'Vi here. Coach Blade on the mic. This comeback was looking good. Now starting to get in hot water. Three more rounds for FaZe to pick up map number one. We've got Nuke waiting the wings as map two. Ancient as the third and final decider if we do need it. It's quite the map, Paul. FaZe might have to make some adjustments here, right? They, they've noted now, more often than not, that it's fast banana play. Consistently yeah. charging up the multiple Molotovs to make sure they can't play Sandbag, they can't play Mouth of Banana. Root taken off them here, and well, here's the little bit of a whoopsie from Perfecto in the flames. Goes on down, does get that kill. Getting fired up our FaZe. Looks to be same again here, same utility to be deployed top banana. Oh, that will leave a mark. Blind on retreat. They do elope. Still, it's perfecto. Even though he caught that flak, he finds himself at the front of the pack. Changing that now. And Rain wants answers. Gets some. More than an answer. He gets ahead. And he's not done. He goes for the full commit and gives away the advantage immediately upon Look at this. Rob. Look at this. Robs wants to change that again. Oh, oh, head on a swivel. There's so many options here, and he started to find some safety. It's Looking. been spotted. And look at the ankle adopted by Electronic. He should be cut short. And is Navi have solved the mystery. It's on and Twist oh right now. Oh my god, look at how many are enc encroaching onto Twist location. This is so tantalizing. They don't know! And Twist only gets the one! A quick react out of it. And that will be enough. That will be enough to return us to that two round gap. FaZe are having real issues with this. Yeah. Over towards Banana, they're having a tough time with things. They tried aggression this time round, it hasn't worked. And right now for Carrigan, you're going to have to wonder what can we do differently? Because if your A anchors aren't getting the job done when they're coming to their site, then that's big issues. If they're coming towards B and they're brutalizing with utility like they are, they're putting pressure on Shaw. This might have to fall to Brokey to take some aggressive stances with the AWP here. Navi are consistently getting that bomb down. Bonus now in the favor of FaZe, so as far as the buys go, they can do this save by save by, at least they can stay competitive down the home stretch. But if Na'Vi pull this one back, we had a massive first half haul from FaZe, this was their game to lose. The fact that they win the pistol, Rain gets that ace, looking absolutely phenomenal right now. They get the conversion in the second. But this is the CT side. It should be easier for them right here, but they're having a tough time of things, as again, Na'Vi, they want to continue to test this. Whoa. Brokey with the AWP, takes a shot, is going to be pushed off the line. That utility, it's so overwhelming. And now they know the orbs here. They're getting away with it every time. Confirm again, the orb did not relocate. How are both of these T sides from FaZe and Na'Vi alike so imposing? Util from Na'Vi. Still plenty of it. Still up, Carrigan staring at a gray screen. Flames. Rattle in. This twists in a crossfire with his leader to hold and respond to this mid control. Ouch! Carrigan goes wide. And his eyes fade to black. Electronic may have actually screwed that up a little. Looks good though. Large smoke presence from Navi. They are really slowly strangling this FaZe Clan defense. Can they find any way to disrupt this? Or a phase gonna fall yet again to this Na'Vi execute? Biding their time. Rotates a cut. Grant looks for something, and he just gets led straight between the eyes. Another headshot added to the tally of bit, and just as simple as that. Can they maintain? Looks like simple. 
He wants to take more away, will pay the price. Brokey with the information that they are continuing to try and force the issue. Take everything away from FaZe. Has to be a little bit careful here. It's not like Navi are out of the water. They can't throw too many bodies at this. So they might just contain them to B, make sure that they can't leave the site. You can see here from Electronic, they don't want anything else to do with this. But this is fantastic work from Navi now. They're understanding the setup, how to deal with it. FaZe are throwing every trick in the book right now. Navi's way. Like that right there was mid retake utility. You saw that smoke dribble over top mid. They were going for mid retake utility. Navi had the perfect response. Drop a defensive Molotov. They can't push up porch side. You only have to worry about long side. They get that kill. And they get the round. All right. This is going to be a story of two T sides. It's going to get more brawly now. I think the phase have to start taking a couple bit more liberties in fights they want to take. Maybe take three towards B, extinguish the utility coming their way, barrel down banana, take a fight. Be a bit more aggressive in halls, in boiler, try and find that pick on the lurker towards second mid. Because right now, it's not the same fashion the way that FaZe were able to pick up their T rounds, but Navi are doing similar scenes. They're getting control of the map much earlier, and then they're applying this pressure to FaZe, and the individuals, they're not standing up right now. Big round of play. Boomich, blind. Catching nades, catching flak. He's already very, very low, but still face fly their flag. Top banana. Oh, what a flash. No punish. It's Paragon that wants answers again. Rain tucked in close, hoping to find that early advantage that has eluded FaZe Clan. Navi have been so stubborn. And that's a little oopsie. We do see. Starting to run out of the additional utility. Yeah, they've just forced out so much early here. Sure, Rain has a little bit left over. That's the best they have to boast right now is Na'Vi. They are looking threatening here. Grouped up, ready to go. First map of the PGL Major Grand Final. Number one versus number two. Reigning champs, release the nades. Keeping them guessing. Carrigan thinking it through, may have overthought it as here they come. It's twist. And Rain, nice headshot. Rain finding two on the entrance. It's oh. a third! And a Rain repels, but it's not done yet. Bits makes it so. Bomb needs to be planted. Can they get it? Saves them as well. It becomes a two-on-two. Two. This is winnable despite the heroics of Rain. Navi pulled back into the fray from Perfecto and Bit. It's the A players now from FaZe trying to find a way back in. Oh no. Bad smoke. On the hunt. Perfecto, the healthiest member of this retake. And he still stands up. A second and that'll do. Navi recover. FaZe did everything. Let me correct myself. Rain did everything and it's still for nothing. Three kills from a B defender, Chad, and it does not translate into a round. Again, Perfecto. I, I can't stop saying his name, right? Those impact kills late. If Carrigan swings on out, spams him through the box, the bomb gets dropped, there's no time left. Perfecto oh. here is the safe pair of hands that Na'Vi need in this comeback. You saw Bit's health as well. If Perfecto isn't as precise as it's this, this one here. look at that That's shot. That's such a huge kill. Oh, Perfecto refuses to surrender. Will not bow out of this, and we're all tied up. All tied up after an explosive start from FaZe. Na'Vi, they have found their footing. Perfecto, 22. And it's Brokey who puts him down this time. Quick Lord back in this battle for Banana, endlessly waging on. And there's pressure being applied all over the map. Electronic flirting with the fading smoke and finds nobody home. This is early to be having so much of this territory. A well-placed molly, but it's Rob. Slips off, another from Brokey. Two in the round on that defensive orb. He may need more, as Twist has gone down. And he's gone down as well. Bit drive-by onto Brokey. And Carrigan 
demanded to clutch or Na'Vi will seize control and take the lead on Inferno. Spotted. Okay. Control through and it's one of the two, but Biff stands supreme. How many times has hit, but he being the last alive, chat 23 now. Feels strange to say this, but it's phase individuals on the CT side. They're not stepping up with the multi kills they require. They're knocking on the door, they're coming into their bomb sites, but they're not able to convert multiple kills. One is not enough because the trading right now is better from Na'Vi. They're playing as a unit, they're believing in this comeback, and they are getting fired up. Look at Simple there, 14 13. Now Na'Vi take the lead. An 8 0 start for FaZe, it means nothing as Na'Vi want to rip this one away. This could be heartbreaking considering how close, how ridiculously close FaZe felt. And on the CT side, no less now. A nervous gulp for this international roster as they can feel it slipping away. Simple again finds the opening. It's not a pretty buy. It's the best they could muster. They've rifled behind the sofa cushions, come up with nothing more than a couple of pistols. A singular MP9 Carrigan with just a CZ. And a whole squad chasing him. He does oh! get two! Two on a pistol! Is there really something to be said about round 28? There shouldn't be. Roki. A bit premature. Fate down. Smoke down. Oh, we need it. They've got the time to think it through. Wait for the smokes to fade. No boosts to be seen. Apart from this one right here. Oh, you rarely see a T side adopt that. It's given time though for Rops to be someone of a Late arrival. Oh, he needed that a bit again. Best him. Now the plant safe enough. Only a P250, and that's Narvi up to 15. Two map points. Just so steady here under pressure. Every single time it looks like Narvi might be in a bit of trouble here. They just bow themselves out. They look calm. They hit the brakes. They wait. They hit the necessary shots and phase. They can't find anything. They make it interesting, sure, Carrigan with the double here, but this is such a comeback right now. 8-0 start, 15 to 13, the score reads. Don't. Carrigan and Inferno, this might haunt him forever. 10 T rounds and it may not be enough. They've got three on the defense. Three is all they can muster unless... Is this going to be the final round of our first map of this grand final? Sport Palace thinks it may be. Quick shot through the smoke, aggressive banana control. Faze are starting to look like their former self, at least in the early posturing. A little bit different here, finally, some banana control right now for Faze. For how long can they hold on to that defensive smoke? Long side might be the gap here. Twist as well now under pressure. Defensive utility drop rotation starting to come in. Navi have a lot of space and a lot of time. This much pressure on your shoulders. Twice responsible in combination with Carrigan. It's potentially going to be the day. Start his spray. Went down and no one, no one provides a response. They have the numbers now on the commit. Carrigan, trigger happy. It's broke. He's all the managers to find something, but already he's been silenced. Navi's trades are so strong. He gets the bomb, gets two again. Spray down three. <laughs> Felt like he was just trying to bait a little bit of a room for his team right there, but having to do it all, the in-game leader. Oh boy, last time out. It's the last time out in the last round. Should we go OT? They won't have that option, but that remains to be seen. 
one of the first rounds since the very, very early stage of this second half that FaZe have been able to get full banana control. That's the difference maker right there. They're able to hedge, they're able to get the rotation in, they responded in time. Sure, they lost the opening killer twist, but Carrigan makes up for that. But this is it, round number 30, map number one. The buys are in for both teams. Now V, they want to get it done 16-14, and FaZe want to take it to overtime. Here it is again. Look at number three. First two, great. That's simple on an orb here, and bang. Carrigan extends play. Can they repeat that, though? They've been few and far between, sandwiched amongst five Na'Vi rounds, and Carrigan decides he will take matters into his own hand. Great. Aggressive on Banana, and it looks like it's Carrigan's brain! Last bullet finds them, and it's a bit now to recover. Na'Vi off kilter. Down a man, bleeding, and asking questions as to where the CTs may have borrowed themselves into. They have to clear. They're going to take time to do this. Uncertainty in the Natus Vincere come now, and a man to the good for FaZe and for OT. What a play to make right here from Carrigan. Aggressive maneuver, only gets one out of it, but has thrown this round into a tailspin. Navi have been good in these number disadvantage situations, but this time they have no space to work with. Combing back through the map, looking for any CTs who are overstepping the mark right now, but a 2-2 split of the defenses, and Navi, if they hit the site together, they'll have the man advantage. Their trading has been on point. It's been very hard to get a frag. Get away. Brokey would love that here in our 30th. Plays it conservative. Understandably so. So much attached to a single round of Counter Strike first map, and they are finding the frags. Simple in. Needs oh! a double and lays down the law. Two headshots, but they're running straight into the magnificent Van Dolken. And with a wave of his wand, he gets one. Simple though can end it right here, right now in a one-on-one, -on -one, a battle of wits between him and Robs as he and Robs are about to clash. It's oh! over time! Robs holds his nerve and we're off to overtime in the first lap. That's more like it. Took us a while to warm into this one, but it's bloody hot in here now, Antwerp. I mean, we discussed how close and how dreamy of a grand final this is, Chad. And we go 15-15 on our first map of this grand final. MR3, 10K now, notched onto the board here. Oh, simple. This That's is. second shot. Yeah. Phenomenal stuff there. The one off the twist was beautiful. Tried to play it smart, tried to be tricky. Rops keeping his cool as per the namesake. Gets the final kill, and here we go again. The aggression, the balls to go for a maneuver like that. I really don't know who has that momentum now. It felt like Na'Vi really did awaken on that second half. FaZe, though, proved to themselves that it's not done. A little change up out of the defense here. Be interesting to see how far Rain gets. He's been having his troubles, he's been having his woes, but still looks to stand up tall. Maybe not anticipating this one. Carrigan reads the flash, turns it to perfection, a re-smoke on, Banana will maintain control, but upon the fade, maybe more to be done. Oh my god. I don't know if he knows. Perfecto, looking right in him. It's Carrigan good for it. Simple, immediate smack down through the smoke. Four on four, a lot of utility drawn out from FaZe here. Finally, an aggressive maneuver to take some space. It might just walk straight into this one. Is bit staying stoic, no overstepping the line right now as the rest of his team work on space elsewhere. Rejigging this defense, twist back over towards the second letter of the alphabet. Joining Rain, who's perched up pretty. Info could be name of the game here for FaZe. If they do want to test the limits, dip their toe into the water, they'll know exactly where this fight's coming. If not, it's all on Twist of Rain to lock this one down. Yeah, they're staying so static. Distinct number advantage for Na'Vi. And they set their sights on the second letter of the alphabet. It's Rain again, who should have great success. First in the scope, hard to track. Twist combined for the double, but it ain't done yet. Electronic tasks with a one versus two clutch on the greatest of stages. And he's got one already, oh! but Brokey right behind. The Latvian holds fast. 26 
that puts him on top of the table. Proki, the very first from his nation to stand on a stage like this, an opponent like this. One round, the first of overtime goes FaZe's way. Uh, definitely FaZe have refound himself here, right? It was looking bleak for a while there. They were passive. They thought they were just going to walk this one across the line. But you can see Carrigan starting to look like himself. More aggressive maneuvers, getting stuck in, taking some fights, taking some liberties. Gets them the opener right there. Does get traded out, but sets FaZe up on the mantle of a four on four. But we're getting it real close now in some of these rounds. RV back into the bite. Back in with this banana aggression, all that util, the smoke to extinguish anything coming their way. Perfecto wow. this time round will just take all the space, all the control again. This wasn't noted last time round, so FaZe opting to set Robson Brokey up for success. It's very well drilled. By taking all of that space immediately, FaZe are forced to start dumping. Hey, cheese. Defensive flashes. Twists. Buys time with Flame on the floor in mid. It's gonna test this. He wants to, oh, broke it. He's been waiting for it this whole oh! time, but Robs, 180 to the dome as Bits gone. They look for answers in mid, but Boomich holds one. There should be a response in Brokey. FaZe have the advantage, but they don't have all the answers. And oh, Simpo catches Robs on his adventures. Cut short. Up last, oh. Brokey disrespects the smoke and keeps FaZe hopes of a second on the CT side of overtime. It's simple and perfecto. No better pairing. 49 already. Just between the two of them. And it is simple to test those waters up again. Rain, the pre-aim leaves us right into the deadlock of a two-on-two. Two and Carrigan not ready. Oh, oh, he was. Never mind. And Carrigan pulls 17. It's a thinking man's game is Counter-Strike. Look to be the oldest player to win a major title. Carrigan steps up when the team needs him most. Flatline simple, takes out Perfecto, and puts FaZe back into the winning ways here. Two more now required. This trading out of Brokey here, he's just all across the shop, trying to tr find all this space. He gets it, and look at this. Carrigan wasn't ready for it, but able to adjust, gets the kill ready for Perfecto, finds the frag. And Simple's frustrated with that one. This comeback for Na'Vi, maybe it was all for naught. Enough money to buy again, the plant's been there. Run boost across mid here, and delivery of the AWP. Neither shot connects. Valiant attempt, final round of their defensive half. Of OT. The stubborn Norwegian backed up. Flash to support, facilitate this. Is aggressive, and yeah, punished. It's perfecto. The gift, Snarby, a man advantage very early. Goes back to the tuck shop, returns with plenty of goodies. Might get a roof shock here, right? Yeah, he may not be prepared for something this vicious. Straight away already, completely nullified. What can he contribute to staring at a smoke and loads his mag? Nothing to report. And already it seems Na'Vi have set themselves up for success. A bomb down and a spray heavy into the First defender, the first responder, a deeper smoke. Will rise, frustrations trying to solve this on the fly, a phase. There's a little bit of summing for twist. He thought he caught a glimmer of Na'Vi, but still five alive. What could Rob possibly do? You'd need something rather crazy and simple. He says no. This is it. There is one for Na'Vi, and Electronic makes it so. A triple to end it. FaZe just throwing everything they could. See what sticks. A 2-1 division. 17 to 16. This is actually huge for FaZe. Think about how few and far between the CT rounds can. The fact that they get two out of the three possible here on their CT side, we know how good these T rounds were, but the question is, 
have these teams been able to solve the puzzle of the T rounds? Now that has to be asked for Na'Vi as they're going to flick on over. They're going to be on the defensive side. And Afei is going to continue with the slow default spread. It's all so long ago right now. But if you missed it, it was just FaZe with these very slow crawls, map control, buying their time, trying to target that arch side early, and then they had to change within the final few rounds of play. But that's where Na'Vi did come alive. It felt within the tail end of that first half, they had solved the puzzle, and that AWP of Simple was a key component. It's out here to play. What can we see off of that opening break? An AWP for either side. The Zoom Bangers may very well clash. Simple thinks better of it. Ratchet from the CTs. Certainly has been the name of the game. A choke hold over Banana and the B-bomb site. Faze lay down the game plan. Change the state of play. 20 seconds on the smokes. What do they do? What do they build out of this? They're just crawling right behind the smokes and already simple caught off. Completely bamboozled. Only bit would need to do something really crazy. Because FaZe, they have managed to put the 18th on the board unless Boomic and Perfecto have anything to contribute. It seems he does. Boom. Takes down Carrigan, it's reading the play, but back turns and twists, spanks. Oh, we spotted him out, Rocks will close, we have our 18. Na'Vi up against the ropes, battered and bloody. It's a real turnaround from Carrigan here, he's up to 24 kills, the second highest for his team. This home stretch that they have been on, he has come alive. He has stepped up in a massive way. He didn't want to go down on a map like this. Inferno in a major grand final could not haunt him again, and he is showing us exactly why. Up and over, takes out the big man himself. Oh. Simple down, the second on the electronic is perfect. And the third onto Bit, phenomenal stuff right here. Carrigan cracks it open, and it looks like we might have cracked Na'Vi here as well. Pulling out all the stops. Chip damage, margin for error, zero for Na'Vi. Constant battle for this part of the map. The T side of phase was very potent. Navi know that all too well. Cancel his plans from the can. Still coming. That's not enough to ward them off here. This could be the finish for FaZe. The 8-0 start. They want to do it right here, right now in OT number one. Their map choice. And it must have been hot under the collar. After Na'Vi showed just how powerful they are. There's doubt from Na'Vi right now. They're not quite sure where this one's going to finish. Simple's just been called off. He was floating over the goat. He's been called to stomp on out. And it's just going to be on Bimic and Perfecto. They have to get this done. They need a multi-kill. They need all the frags. Perfecto good for it. Perfecto! He has held FaZe at the door. And it's Rain that tries to change the dialogue. 20 seconds. Where on earth can they find a way in? 15. As they really look to try. Of course, the rotate is one man! They're oh, in. that's the shot! There's a red that carpet into the A! Shot, I think this time, six, five, four! And the bomb goes down on the other side of the map. Now we have got so much to do. Three on three, bombs down. 40 seconds already ticking away here. They need to get a move on. They're all out of position, all rotating through the same corridor. Phase are set up to shut this one down. Take map one right here, right now. Rocks made this possible. Smoke to allow this gap to close. Bomb is half gone. Na'Vi's hopes and dreams with it. A couple of kills is all they need. And there's one. Simple stubborn. Rocks beats his fate. And his only broke. He's a poor face across the line. 